after I read this nomination, I kind of fell back in my chair and thought, how have I not heard of this group and the amazing work that it is doing? As I listened and reviewed the applications for this year, the nominations for this year, we had individuals who have left and taken medicine and talents given to them by, to other parts of the world to help. An uh, individual who's helping with human rights, both there and here. A, a uh, Vivasa who is helping international immigrants here feel welcome into us. And then there's walking with angels. And I found them particularly interesting because of this concept. So I read the application and I called Annette and I wanted to hear more. And after about 25 minutes, I felt like I was friends with Annette. She mentioned to me that they are a fulcrum. Their organization is a fulcrum. And thankfully, I knew what that word meant, and I got excited. And a fulcrum is that little piece on a seesaw that moves, and you can move it anywhere and lift. And she mentioned to me that they work here to help places abroad reach new levels. She told me about a particular medical test that's very important to be a genetic test to be performed for people that are suffering from AIDS and HIV to identify what they're immune, what they might be immune to, and how important it is for children that are suffering from HIV and AIDS to have that test because they develop immunity so quickly to medications. And I thought, wow. And she mentioned how expensive that was. And so one of the things that they did is they reached out through their network and collaborated with uh, organizations in Canada, and they found a test that was $10 or $15 that they could secure and help uh, individuals in Africa, uh, children, be able to receive that test. I thought, wow. They helped a laboratory that was seeking abroad, in, uh, I think it was Rwanda or, or Kenya, I don't remember at the, at the moment. And they helped them with a marketing uh, regime or structure from students here. They got together and they communicated that information abroad. And it made me realize this is also what the humanitarian award is. People here creating a fulcrum and impacting others there. I really would like to let invite Annette Donnelly to come up and to share some of the details that I have to <laughs> Thank you. attractive crowd here tonight. Thank you so much for this. It's very exciting. It's an honor to be able to represent our grassroots partners, the community leaders that we serve, and our awesome team of volunteers. Um, I've heard it said that charity begins at home, and I want to thank my co-founder and perfect in every way husband, Patrick and my awesome sons. And I especially want to give a shout out. I especially want to give a shout out to my nine-year-old son, Michael, who was an ambassador for us on our trip to Kenya and Rwanda this summer. Michael, you're awesome. Gabriel, you're awesome. Thank you. as a fulcrum organization focus on the grassroots endeavors being done by the leaders who work in the homes or sometimes as a surrogate home for the profoundly vulnerable in the world. I'm going to give you two examples of why you should care about this and potentially maybe 
even use your smartphone after this riveting speech, of course, to donate a reoccurring $2 donation a month to our charity. So I will try to be compelling. In 2014 and 15, University of Illinois undergraduate and graduate students walking with angels and the community health workers of Kalmgwari, which is a slum outside of Nairobi, worked together via text and email to create and execute an assessment of HIV positive households. The results showed income of about 46 cents per person per day. The national poverty rate, or international poverty rate, excuse me, is about $1.25. More surprisingly, debt was 141% of income. I know. How are you going to do about that, huh? There isn't any plumbing in these homes. There isn't electricity. Toilets are communal pit latrines. Light is procured mainly through kerosene and paraffin lamps, which cost the families about 17% of their monthly income. Through the generosity of our donors, we procured solar lamps, distributed them to the community health workers, and they gave them to the affected households. This helped to mitigate risk by lowering expenses in perpetuity. We're now continuing a pilot program by purchasing national health insurance for these families to continue to mitigate risk. And then we'll work on something further. Alex mentioned genetic resistance testing for HIV affected people. We're continuing to work with a group of researchers, um, some amazing doctors in Kenya, and working with a research uh, group in Canada and a, um, also a supplier of this test. Genotypic resistance testing is a common practice here in the West. It tells you, it's a very sensitive test. It tells you what drugs you have resistance to um, if you're HIV positive. One of our partners recently ran a test of 25 naive patients, which means they haven't been um, put on drugs yet, on antiretroviral drugs yet. The ages of these patients were three months to eight years. 67% of those patients were resistant to two or more antiretroviral drugs. These results are saddening and astonishing. The GRT test in Kenya costs uh, $433. We're hoping to bring it down closer to the $10 or $20 range. We'll keep you posted as to our progress. We're still getting all the research together. And um, again, I hope that's compelling for you to put your smartphones in action. I want to thank you. God bless you for the work that all of you are doing. It's an amazing opportunity to be with you all tonight. Thank you.